Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Ross Everett. And Vancouver has cracked by vending machines. But let me explain. As much as I don't want to, we just leave it at that. No, okay, I will. Vancouver is actually looking out for crack users with these machines because I'm learning, apparently, sharing broken and unclean crack pipes can spread HIV and Hep C. I know, right? I would have never thought about that. Cooties, yes, of course, but apparently real diseases as well. So you can get yourself a clean, brand spanking new sterilized crack pipe for 25 Canadian cents. It's like American cents, but more polite. A penny for your thoughts? No, you could have them for free. There are people begging for change. Can you spare a quarter? Only if you use it on a crack pipe. But the public safety minister, Stephen Blaney, has some qualms about the crack pipe dispensary, as one should when you hear the phrase crack pipe vending machine, when not followed by the phrase, is my new favorite band. He says this government supports treatment that ends drug use and would like to limit young people's access to drug paraphernalia. But the outreach workers behind the vending machine say it's easy to market against the program because, quote, it does seem strange if you don't know the details. They go on to say the machines are in an effort to take action to make sure that people live for another day to go to detox and treatment. This particular project is an offshoot of an initiative that started back in in 2011 when the Vancouver Coastal Health Authority circulated 60,000 clean crack pipes across the city, a project that was deemed a success. And it also makes me call it the land of 60,000 crack pipes. Fun. I'd go there. I wouldn't. I'd be terrified. Which is great because I'm coming to Vancouver at the end of February and now I know what to get for all of my friends. So what we are now facing is the argument between disease prevention and paraphernalia accessibility. Mind you, the machines don't sell crack, just the pipes. Again, it could be argued that making the paraphernalia more available is encouraging the people to keep using, kind of like selling a gun but no bullets. Others can argue that those who use crack are going to use crack with a clean pipe or not, so you might as well help them find a way to use it cleanly. I, after watching a kid in college make a grab bong out of a Sobe bottle tend to agree with the latter. Ingenious kid. I think he graduated in three years. We call them Marijuana Giver. What would you guys like to see in a vending machine? Let me know in them comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and click the sanitation for all your crack pipe news. I'm Ross Everett. Can you imagine ordering a crack pipe in a vending machine and it getting stuck against the glass? That'd be the worst. But then someone else is gonna come along and order that same crack pipe and they're gonna get two crack pipes and their f***ing day will be made. The good news is, is uh, Rob Ford is looking to move to Vancouver. <laughs> there we are, that's your out.